Welcome back to another video review. So if you don't know the part one of this video, which was reviewing this big Platinum Edition Oculus Prime, check that out now because that does show the box. And um, I will talk about how I broke him and how I had to fix him. So let's just do some comparisons. Of course you already saw. Big that looks pretty okay. I feel like the Voyager would scale way better with this. But, you, know, you got what you got with this. And here he is scaled with the robots in the sky sites. Right? Yeah, I kind of prefer this one better. So yeah, it's basically the same. Of course, this one is a little bigger and more of a realistic car than this one. And of course, like every other character, get in the the trailer. Lock him up. Prime can drag him away forever. So now on to transformation. It's pretty simple. What you're gonna start out? Well, actually, I should talk about the car mode itself. This is very nice, shiny red. Of course, you can see uh, I'm crunk there. It's an Autobot symbol. Car symbol, lights, lights, tires, tires, robot. <laughs> so, with transformation, I'm just gonna move my camera up. So, what you're gonna start by doing is taking these parts that are under here and they tab in here and they just kind of slot in here. I'm going to pull them out and just move them off to the side. Do it on this same. And yeah, you have that done. So we're gonna come back to the front of the car, untab it from the center, fold these out, and rotate them off to the side. And now, with feet, you rotate these, one eighty, or like just a little bit. I was gonna say one eighty, but not really. Um, and then you hold it like this, and then this one. I like better because it has a tab. I actually just have a, you can, yeah, a little nub. They can just slot in there. And then on the other side, do exactly the same thing. Hold it down. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna untab this body part from here, and you can fold this down. Of course, at this time you're going to fold this part up, up and shake your head, and you're like, "Hello." Then you just tap this into that. Now for the backpack, just like to fold this down, according it down, according these in, slide it that way. Do the same on the other side. And then what you have to do with the arms, which I hate because you can see these are round, not flat. So it gets very annoying. You're trying to pull these out. Ow. You're trying to pull these out. So I wouldn't complain with this figure, they should have made it squarish. Of course, it wouldn't look that good. And then you basically have Sideswipe all done, and in his robot mode. So the only thing I don't like about this figure is the backpack. Big backpack. Hard to stand, because of the wheels. And I'll show you, yeah, I just super glued that part. And then this part, the pin knocked out. The pin knocked out, so I just put it back in. Um, now, weapons-wise, it comes with nothing. Big surprise there, because these fold down and become the swords. And there you have him. You can get pretty good poses with him. Of course, for scale, here he is next to R.I.D. Sideswipe. Yep, very tall. Taller than it. As you can see, um, yeah. Kind of, I kind of like this one a little better. It just has a sleeker look and more of a cartoony look. Mm. But of course, you love your like better. And then here he is with his bro, well, the bro from the box. The box. Optimus, and he comes up to his fist. <laughs> yeah, Optimus is the tall one. Um, but I have to say, this is a nice two pack. I definitely think. 
they could make a version with the Voyager one, and that'd be a little better. Mm -hmm. Last night for version. Um, yeah, it's really just the trailer for fun. Um, of course, they could make a last night version from the Voyager class. And that could still be good, but uh, I'm happy with what we got. So, articulation-wise, you can go up and down at the foot, but really you don't need to unless you're trying to get him to pose like that. Anyway, you do have a... The arms are... The, arm, the ball joints and the arms are very loose. You do have a bend at the knee, and when you bend it, you see this part comes out just like a cool little thing. Now the legs... I like how they're done. They have a ball joint there, and then they have, like, these fake pistons. I'm just worried they're going to break. But you can get pretty good range of articulation. And the legs are a ball joint at the arm. A double bend at the uh, elbow. I forgot what it's called. And you can go in and out a tiny bit for the hands. And the head of on the spring thing. That's fun, I'm not gonna lie. And of course he does have a kind of big beard thingy. I don't know what it is. So if you're gonna move his head, you kind of have to get it down. Because really you can't get it to turn without it being very problematic. Now so I definitely think that maybe you should, if you're gonna want a side swipe, if you want a side swipe, definitely get this one if you can find them for cheap. I like the red better than the silver. Of course, the studio series is coming out with one, but I did see this one guy, um, I think it was, maybe it was All Hail Megatron. He does stop motions, and one of them, he took a side swipe body and just painted it yellow to make some shrieker, and I liked that a lot. I am actually do that if I get the studio series one. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to say for the figure. Is he worth picking up with the Optimus? No. I feel like if you're going to get the Optimus, it's good to get this guy too, and the trailer. But, really, if you want to side swipe, just wait for a good one to come out. And maybe the Studio Series will, 1 will be way better than this. I haven't actually seen it yet. Um, maybe it will be way better than this. Maybe it will be worse than this. But anyway, that's um, those are all my opinions. I hope that you enjoyed this video review. If you did, leave a like, do whatever you want. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bumblebee, I can't wait to be in the last night. Wait, what do you say Michael Bay didn't want me in it? He, what? He didn't cast me or Sunshreaker? Ah! He had a heart attack. That's why he's not in the fourth movie. <laughs>